morning, Britain. The top stories, terror in Britain. It's revealed today that 13 attacks have been foiled in the last four years. Now the security services say they need the public's help to keep the country safe. Desperately searching for the strangers she was forced to leave behind. 30 years after the Zebruga ferry disaster, we've heard from survivors of the tragedy that claimed 193 lives. Passengers screaming and people were trying to smash windows, trying to get out, and it was just a, an awful lot of noise, chaos. Chaos and confusion in Los Angeles. Louis Tomlinson is caught on camera, being arrested after a bust-up with a photographer. The One Direction star claims he's protecting his girlfriend. This morning we speak to a photographer who witnessed it all. And Hugh Grant's back, but is it still love? Actually, I caught up with the stars ahead of the comic relief sequel. It's going very badly. I'm doing very bad. I can't remember my lines. I can't remember my character. Everyone hates me. Monday, 6th of March, 2017. Live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Piers Morgan and Susanna Reid. Good morning, Britain. Just gone six o'clock. Welcome to the programme. You had fun yesterday, then? I did. Yeah, not everyone hates you. you. <laughs> I, I do, but they, oh, you, no. you do. You like him, don't you? I like Hugh Grant yeah. a lot. It was very yeah. nice hanging out with um, uh, Hugh Grant behind the scenes. I bet it was. I can't Red think, Nose Day, actually. I'd rather lower myself into a vat of sulfuric acid. However, um, this is great. Front page of the Daily Telegraph is a massive picture of Susanna Reid <laughs> with the intriguing headline, Piers... Pajamas and me. I don't know how they managed to crowbar you into a headline well, about me in my pajamas. Talk about bitter disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> that, that headline does not reflect the content of what I thought was going to be the first public admission of something a little bit more than just a professional relationship. No. As, uh, um, as the viewers know, I often turn up to the editorial meeting in my pajamas. You do? And in you fact, do. I then changed into my pajamas after the programme for that interview. So that's what that reflects. Now, here's my favourite story, possibly of all time. In this PC-crazed world that we now have to endure, a spare a thought for Dorking in Surrey, <laughs> actually very near to where I was born, got lots of relatives down there. This is the, uh, they're calling it the most un-PC sporting event in Britain. This is the UK, <laughs> the UK wife carrying competition. <laughs> Thank God there is one <laughs> tiny part of this country that is not having this PC nonsense. Oh my goodness. I love this. It's Absolutely kind of unfortunate love it. that that's the most effective I'm, way I'm to carry a, the I'm wife. watching a TV Just version called... Uh, well, we're going to have the TV wife carrying competition. <laughs> uh, a bit like sort of tough mums meets peers in pyjamas. And I'll be yanking you around the fields of Surrey. Oh, I feel a sudden urge to put a whole load of weight on. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at the weather this morning. Here's Laura. Good morning to you. Weather-wise, sort of every single day this week is looking different, so it's definitely worth staying tuned to the weather forecast. A good-looking but cold start to the day today with some showers in the north, but I'll have all the details on the changeable weather in about half an hour's time. What's the look you're rocking there? Is it Jackie O or Uhura from Star Trek? Um, I think a cross between the two, but these... Apparently, I, yeah. I, get, I earn more of these as we head through the show, I think. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, we'll see you a bit later on, see how you're getting on, Laura. Our main news.